from Hawaii. This is the suitcase that I brought with my crafting supplies for the next little bit. We are here for about 10 days. And so I knew there'd be plenty of downtime for me to get a little bit crafty. So that's why I packed up this suitcase. This is a standard size carry-on. Everything that I use for the next few videos with all of my crafting stuff, with my capsule paper crafting challenge, was in this suitcase, including this mount that, I talk, that I've got right here, which took up some space. That's what I'm gonna mount my phone to so I can record. But as you can see, I did have this big, long spot right here. I did fill it with random things I needed in my carry-on. But we're gonna go through everything that I've selected for my capsule paper crafting challenge for the next little while. I plan to craft with just these items while I'm here in Hawaii. And then when I get home, I think I'll extend it for a couple more weeks just so I can get like a full month's worth of crafting. So here we go. As far as big items go, taking up this case, this is a Misty um, bag. And um, I'll open it up here in a minute to show you what's inside, but that's in that space. In this bag right here, I've got colored pencils. I'll show you what's in there as well. I have this little tiny die cutting machine from Honeybee. Look how small and compact that is. Like that's my hand. It is so tiny. And I also grabbed this little collapsible cup for watercolor painting. I could have probably left this at home, but I don't know. Having my own cup seemed a little bit like a good idea. On this side of the suitcase, I'm gonna open this up. On the top here is a mesh bag from Simon Says Stamp. And I have all of my stamp sets, stencils, and the few dies that I brought to use with that die cutting machine. I have all of those items in here. I packed a full watercolor set. It's true, I did. And then I have some glitter paper that I thought would be fun for die cutting, as well as a pack of metallics, and then the Craft Consortium Ink Drops paper. Here's my big Archon mount. I'll take that out. I've got my paper towels. Um, I probably could have left these at home, but I didn't know what the situation would be here in the condo that we rented. I've got my ink cubes that I selected. These are all Concord and Ninth. In this um, storage box, there's extra room in here because I'm planning to put my finished cards in there as well. But this has all of my paper, pre-cut, card bases, things like that. Well, not all of my paper because as you can see down here, I've got some Nina Solar White, some Hero Arts Pitch Black, and then my hardboard. I decided to throw in this simple uh, watercolor set from Prang. And then I have a small trimmer. I'm not even sure if this trimmer is still sold anymore, but um, it's about the same size as the Tim Holtz smaller trimmer. In my carry-on bag, uh, I put items that I knew, I don't know, I, I wasn't sure if they would be able to go through security. That carry-on bag I carried with me onto the plane. But in my big bag, I got my um, cutting mat, and I also taped this transparent sheet grid sheet to it because I forgot it at the last minute. Otherwise, I would have put it in my other bag. I've got my heat tools. This is an older one that I don't use anymore, so I, you know, figured why not bring it. And then in this bag, I have some other items that I thought might not go through security well. I've got my um, white fine detail embossing powder. Um, I've got my drawing gum, which is liquid. And then I've got some tools that I just thought I'd throw in here. I've got my tweezers, craft knife, scissors, Let's see here, I've got some Gina K glue and then this honeybee glue. The honeybee glue is almost gone, which is why I brought a backup. And then my pokey tool that I can get my dies out, you know, when I'm doing some die cutting. Okay, so moving on with um, what's in this smaller bag. Inside I have a distress sprayer that's empty. Pencil sharpener. I put in all of my paint brushes, which I'll have to pull out one at a time as I find them in this bag here, but I have five blending brushes from Simon Says Stamp, and their brushes have this fun cap on them, so I thought that would be good for travel. Um, I have a pencil, 
like a couple more brushes in here and then all covered pencils. So here's my Misty bag. Sadly, I can't zoom out much more because where my phone is mounted, but I will show you what is in the bag. So in this top pocket, I've got my adhesives, including foam adhesives and then my plates for my little die cutting machine. And this bag, I've got an um, anti-static powder tool, Teflon bone folder, I've got a compass so I can draw or cut circles, a couple markers, eraser, things like that. In the center section of this Misty bag, I have my Misty, my Scorpel, I have a brand new stamp chamois, which um, I will keep the packaging for, and then to go home, I'll dry this out the night before, and then I can slide it right back in the packaging. And then I've got a, um, a nice palette so I can smush some ink pads down and do some watercoloring. In the last section of the Misty bag, I have my Christmas set of uh, UV watercolors, and I've got some other little pans up here as well. I just use that set a ton. I've got my VersaFine ink pad, which I put a hair tie around instead of taping it closed. I taped it closed in the past, and I just felt like I was wasting tape. So this just, you know, I can use this hair tie later, so that seemed to work. And I did the same with my VersaMark ink pad. And then I have just a couple acrylic blocks. I didn't put anything in there. On this other side, I have, let's see, I've got some black watercolor paper, some painter's tape for when I watercolor, and then I also have the Simon Says Stamp T-Square Ruler. Before I get into what specific stamps and dies I use. I wanted to show you this little setup. There was this lamp um, in our condo and it's the perfect light to go down on this table. Wasn't sure what the lighting would be like, but I think it's gonna work out well. I've got everything set up in kind of like within arm's reach. So I'm cutting, I've got watercolor right there. I've got my ink pads. Um, I have a bowl from the kitchen that I just put some random tools in. I've got a few different cups here. I've got brushes and T-square T-square ruler. I've got my blending brushes, all of my colored pencils, and my sharpener, and then I've got other random tools. I'll have to empty that out when I want a watercolor or maybe just go grab a different cup from the kitchen. Paper towels. I've got some other little tools right here. As far as die cutting goes, I have the plates down here as well as the dies I brought and then the little tiny die cutting machine. And then on this chair that's right next to me, this basket was elsewhere in the condo. They had some rolled up towels in it. And I thought, you know what, I'll repurpose it for this. So I have all of my stencils and stamps like that I've selected right here. Papers, whatever, score buddy. Um, you know, all my little things that were thin that could stand up, I've got all right here so that they're within reach of where I'll be sitting while I'm crafting. So let's get into the stamps and dies and stencils that I selected for this particular challenge while I'm traveling and then also when I'm home for a couple weeks. For those who are unfamiliar with my capsule paper crafting challenge or the capsule paper crafting list, this is roughly what it looks like. This is what I worked off of as I packed all of these items and put them into my suitcase. So I've added a few little things on here. I've also expanded it just a little bit um, in particular, it says for, I think, uh, colored pencils right here, 24 or less. I obviously packed more than 24 because uh, I just grabbed my whole entire pack of Faber-Castell pencils. And as far as inks go, it says, um, it doesn't give you a specific amount of mini ink cubes to bring. So I actually modified it just a little bit. I brought... Concord and Ninth ink cubes, but normally this little spot right here, there's a little foam thing. I brought a purple and a brown because a Concord has a pretty good 
collection of inks, but I find that there's not really a, a nice bright purple or a brown. They have mushroom, but it tends to lean more towards gray. So I thought it would be nice to have these two colors in here also just to work with. So I did a kind of modify that part of the list. And I also added a few additional things as far as tools that I've made notes here. Um, I put in a powder tool, a compass, so I can draw circles. Um, I put an adhesive eraser in. Um, I did not do a sand eraser, but that's another option. And I also have tweezers. Now, when it comes to um, additional tools that aren't on this at all, I did add that mini die cutting machine from Honeybee and also five greetings dies that would fit through that really, really small machine. So the really interesting part, and this is probably part of the list that everyone's most interested in, is the items that I selected for stamps, dies, and stencils. And I went off this list mostly, but I did add an additional greeting stamp set for some medium greetings. And I added one more image stencil down here as well. I think as far as stamps and stencil goes, that's where we're at. And then as far as dies go, these are the ones I picked. I think they're all mostly from Simon's stamp. Yeah, they are. I've got big scripty hugs, thanks frame, best day ever, sorry I forgot, it's your birthday, I adore you, and chunky love you. And all of these dies are small enough to fit on these little plates for my honeybee. Um, I think it's a bitty buzz machine, that's what it's called. And I also noticed that when I cut in that machine, because I only tested it a few times, when I cut in this machine, it needs a little extra pressure. So I have a bit of watercolor paper, it's a scrap that I had, and it adds just enough pressure to get a perfect cut. So that's what that is. For stencils, well, maybe I really only did have three. Um, I have the polka dots background from Honey Bee, Lawn Fawn Tropical Leaves, thought that'd be really fun to work with while I'm here in Hawaii. And I have Simon's Stamp Layering Hearts. Oh, and yeah, the other stencil I brought was the Genic A Designs Wreath Builder. This is the new version that has the guides on it right there, which is kind of nice. As far as background stamps go, I brought two. I have the Alphabet background from Simon's Stamp and the Delicate Outline Flowers background. For more imagery on stamp sets, this one is from Concord and Ninth, and I actually wanted to use this one specifically with the Gina K wreath builder because I started doing something with this stamp set in our most recent uh, online card classes class and I never really got to finish it. I wanted to finish up that pattern and I, I wanted to try it out some more. So that's why I brought this in particular. It has dies with it. I probably didn't need to bring these, uh, especially because this big die won't fit in my little die cutting machine, but um, it was already in the pocket. So I decided to just bring it. I've got this stamp set called Love You Bunches from Simon Says Stamp. This is one that I did, and I haven't really had a chance to use it, and I really wanted to try out a few things with it. So that's why I brought Love You Bunches. And then this one called Garden Greetings. This is another one that I wish I had used more, so I thought this is the perfect time to bring it. All right, as far as greetings go, I actually have four stamp sets that I brought. I've got Tiny Words from Simon Says Stamp. I believe in my very first capsule paper crafting challenge, I use this as well. Any of the Simus' stamp, tiny words, stamps would be perfect for this challenge because you have what seems like five million greetings. It's really great for this. I also have XL Greetings 3, another one with some great uh, uh, greetings. And some of these are small enough that I could actually use the dies in here to cut them out. I didn't even think about that, I just packed it. And then this one called Sympathy Greetings Mix from Simon Says Stamp. I thought that would be really nice as well. And then this one, which is Inside Kindness from Honeybee. This is one I added at the last minute. Um, I think there's a mint for the insides of cards, but um, I think you could definitely use them on the outside as well, depending on what your card design is. As far as adhesives go, I, I didn't really mention exactly what I brought. I brought some thin strips from Darius, which sadly are no longer sold. And then I've got foam squares from Scrapbook Adhesives. I've got two sheets of those. And then I have my regular Tombow Extreme Adhesive and then a refill. And I'm glad I brought a refill because this looks like it's half gone already. So. so those are all of my items that I selected for my capsule paper crafting challenge 
during travel and also when I'm home, I will be sharing with you some cards that I've made while I'm out of town and also when I get home over the next few weeks. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll also link at the end of this video, I'll link to my previous capsule paper crafting videos. One where I describe more of the process of what you need to pack or select for your capsule. And then um, maybe one showing a couple cards or something like that. I'll put that at the end of the video here. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in another video very soon.